Good morning, good morning. Hi guys, welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, hello, hi, I am Becky. I'm happy you're here. If you wouldn't mind liking this video, if you do like it, and be sure to subscribe and tick the notification bell right next to the big fat red subscribe button below. That just supports my channel a whole ton and it helps it grow and thrive and all the things. Today, today we are talking about my little love project. <laughs> my cookbook that I just released a month ago. Vegan morning, noon, and night. It's over a hundred recipes, all vegan, all gluten-free, all plant-based, deliciousness. It's in hard book form, it's in soft book form, and it's in ebook form. If you wanna purchase it, go to my website, beckyhunt.me, and all the information, all the links to Amazon and Barnes and Noble and how to get it on an ebook, it's all there, my friends. It's simple, easy, fast, painless. Go get it. So here on my phone, um, I have like the top 10 um, most frequently asked questions about my cookbook. So I'm gonna share them with you today. So first question, what is your favorite recipe out of the entire cookbook? Well, let me show you. Honestly, that question is extremely hard to answer, but um, I kind of have it down to like two, maybe three favorites, but I'll just, I'll just share all of them with you. So I have my baked donuts recipe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> my baked donuts and they actually come in three different um, variations so there's a plain plain donut blueberry donut and a chocolate donut with like three or four different kind of frostings that you can make with them I love donuts so much do you guys know that nachos are literally my favorite food here they are my friends fully loaded nachos and then probably my third, um, we'll, we'll do a breakfast, dinner, and um, dessert um, favorites for you guys. Okay, here it is. This is my silky chocolate tart. If you guys are a fan of like French silk or like a flourless chocolate cake or chocolate to like tort kind of things, tarts, um, this, oh my God. I, it's, it's smooth, it's, it's like a, like a dark chocolate, like it's not too sweet. It's like just right. And I just, the crust with it, I, I, mm, I like have no words. It's one of those recipes you just like, you have no words. You're like lost for the words. They're gone. What sort of meals are in the book? This, this is my recipe index. Um, actually like the whole book index. The different sections, I have breakfast, entrees, soups and salads, snacks and staples, drinks and smoothies, dressings and sauces, and then the biggest section of the book is desserts. <laughs> and along with like the soups and salad section, I make all of the soups the Instant Pot because my Instant Pot is my best friend. If you don't own one, I actually have an egg, each and every soup recipe. Um, there's also an Instant Pot risotto recipe. <laughs> and there is actually with every soup recipe, with every Instant Pot recipe, I have the Instant Pot directions, but I also have the stove top directions for those that don't have an amazing pressure cooker. So. There's that. Third question, are all of the recipes gluten-free or just some of them? <laughs> Actually, all of them. Over 100 of them. Number four question, how long do the recipes take to make? On average, they take um, around 20 minutes. Some of them take 30 minutes, but nothing ever takes more than 15 minutes to actually like bake. <laughs> so they're really quick, um, simple recipes that you can just kind of get together, put together, it's done. done. Number five, is there any soy? People apparently think, uh, well, you're vegan, so you eat tofu, right? You eat that weird spongy stuff. What's it called? 
I, I happen to actually like tofu, but I did not put it in my, in my cookbook. So there is, however, one, one single recipe that has soy in it, and it, it is my tempeh bacon. Now, I have a BLT recipe. Let me just show you a second. Okay, here is my BLT, um, here, right here. So that is my BLT, and I actually, in every single one of these recipes, everything is made from scratch. So even, so the tempeh is store-bought. I don't make tempeh, no. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. This TBLT is so amazing that I had to have it in my cookbook. It, it's just, it's like blow your mind. I can't believe that tastes like bacon kind of thing. So, <laughs> I do have just the one single recipe. Tempeh does have soy in it. Some tempehs have gluten, but most of them do not. And this is something that I point out in the beginning of the of the cookbook that um, if you are looking for gluten free, you have to make sure that you get the tempeh that says gluten free on it. So, just a pointer there. Number six. What is the recipe I am most proud of like the one that I worked so hard on <laughs> I attempted to make this so many times because you know the first time it didn't quite come out right it tasted good but wasn't like the right texture and then the next time you try it again and it wasn't taste didn't taste as good and the next time it didn't rise the next time it didn't you know it was just a different came out different every time because I tried to improve it every time but you guys you guys I did it. I came up with the best gluten-free bread in the whole entire universe. Oh my gosh, I think I just said it. Universe. Universe, you guys. It's so good. Legit, you guys. It is the best bread you will ever have. So this is this is one of my burgers, so I put the bread on that. I have this cheesy mozzarella tomato melt. There's my French toast, like, so proud of it, you guys. That's, that's my answer. What do you make the most myself? What recipe do I actually make the most? Um, probably my nachos, because nachos are my favorite food, and we probably have it at least once a week. Is the cookbook kid-friendly? Now, I have a four-year-old, almost five-year-old, and she's very, very, very picky eater. And one of the things that I was totally, I totally wanted to put into my cookbook was recipes that the kids could help you with easily, but also some that the kids would actually enjoy. You guys, there are cookies in this thing. There is cake in here. I have a chicken, like chicken lifts nugget, so I call them chickpea nuggets. And I also have a barbecue sauce recipe in here. I have a ranch sauce in here. Um, I also have mac and cheese in here. Mac and cheese, right there. Pizza, I mean, come on now. <laughs> the pizza crust is even crispy, if you can believe that. Pat myself on the back, friends. <laughs> now, here's the question that I get most often, and it's mostly off of Facebook. Um, that I get this question, or in person. Becky, what if I'm not vegan? Now here is where I say that, and it says it right on the back of my book. It says, who are these recipes for? It says right here, who are these recipes for? They're for every vegan, want to be vegan, on the fence and looking into possibly becoming vegan, and every non-vegan. It says it right there on the back. I have a husband that is not vegan. Um, when he's in my house and eating my food, <laughs> then he does eat plant-based. But when he is outside of our house, we go out to eat, he eats whatever he wants, and I respect that. And I personally believe that the vegan lifestyle, 100% plant-based diet, is honestly what our bodies were designed to eat. Plants are what our body was designed to digest. Plants <laughs> make every single cell in our brain, in our body, thrive. And I believe that 
plant-based is legit the way to go. But, but, the majority of my friends and the majority of the people that surround me, my family, are not vegan, are not plant-based. I accept them and I love them, just like I accept you guys and I love you guys for who you are and for what you do. Like, I accept you. It is really hard for me to talk about cooking chicken and grilling steak and, you know, putting putting those things into my recipes, into an instant pot with my soups. But the thing is that the majority of these recipes kind of they were they were a lot of my favorites growing up as a child, like mac and cheese. I turned it into vegan. Um, my wild rice soup used to be chicken wild rice soup and I turned it vegan. Make these recipes work for you. If you want to make that mac and cheese and have your kids completely happy because of it, <laughs> mom's giving me mac and cheese! Yes! Good day! But at the same time, like you still want to grill your chicken on your grill. Like go for it and have the mac and cheese as a side. With this book, the purpose, the reason I wrote this book is because I wanted people to be like food makes you happy right food makes me so happy and i wanted to put happy food in here but i wanted it to be something that everybody could have vegans non-vegans every single person but enjoy their food and have their food make their ha them happy have the recipes also be really versatile like you can you can put your chicken in the tortilla soup like go for it you do you and there's a lot of people that do eat meat but they want to get rid of dairy they want to remove dairy from their diet here you go friend <laughs> here it is right here and that's why I made this book vegan that's why I called it vegan morning noon and night because you know what honestly plant-based morning noon and night is not as much fun to say it doesn't roll off the tongue as well so, we did vegan morning, noon, and night. So, I mean, that's that's a question that I'm super passionate about, and I could go on for a, an entire video about it, but like, it just boils down to you do you, make these recipes work for your lifestyle, and just do whatever the heck you want. Toss whatever you want in these recipes, make them work for you. Now, the last question. Will this be your last book, Becky? Is this like your thing now? You just write books? Friends, I have wanted to be an author for a very, very, very long time. It has been my dream to be a published author and I've made it happen all by myself. While I was writing this, while I was making this, I felt so alive for the first time in a really long time. I felt like this was part of my calling this was part of like I'm really good at this I feel really good when I write I love to write and I love to write my feelings down I love to write my thoughts down and um, I normally don't write my recipes down but I did for this I have I have plans to make more books <laughs> long story short I'm super passionate about writing and I feel like I'm good at it and and I now that I know how to publish this baby and what it takes, like I can prepare myself for that and I can take the time that I need for that. I, I have plans for more and not just cookbooks, you guys. <laughs> I have plans to write more books, um, write my story, write my daughter Gracie's story, put into words what I feel the world needs to hear. I even want to like write children's books. So like, I just, I mean, I have many plans. The answer to that is no, it is not the last book. So that's all I have for you guys um, today. If you guys have any more questions about the cookbook, comment below and I'll answer them away. Um, the other thing, if you guys want to see what kind of recipes are in this baby, go follow me on Instagram because I have shared so many pictures 
on there of what's in this book. So that being said, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next one. Go spread some happy. Bye.